All right, guys. Um, good afternoon. This is Emmanuel. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Always remember to like, subscribe, and share it. Okay. So, um, basically, I want to talk about adding two-factor authentication to your Sidra. Right. A lot of persons have been asking questions about this recently, and I just wanted to address it once and for all. So pay close attention. Now it is necessary to add this because if you don't, there are scammers have gone on rampage this time around and they have been trying to scam people, trying to hack this time and all around. You don't even need to make a mistake, but they would hack into your account and get your tokens swiped away, right? At least I've seen up to two cases recently. So now, how do you do that? Once you log into your session, go to kycport.com and log in. Once you've logged in, right? So on your dashboard, you locate the two-factor authentication. Once you locate it, you click on it. Then you see this toggle here, right? You click on this toggle first. After this toggle, then you click on Add Authenticator App. All right, so once you click on Add Authenticator App, it will bring out a code, okay, for you to stake. So either you scan the QR, QR code with your Authenticator App or you enter the code manually. So what I'm going to do is to copy this code, right? So I need to copy this code. So how do you copy the code? You just have to click here. So you click there and you copy the code, right? Secret copied to clipboard, right? So once you do that, you head over to your authenticator app. So for me, I'm going to be using Google Authenticator. All right. You just have to click on Add there. Then you click on Enter a Setup Key, all right? Then you can type the account name, Sidra. And then you can type your key. You can type your key, all right? So what you do is just to paste the key, you just copy it. Once you paste it, you click on Add, right? Once you click on Add, it has added, okay. The schedule code saved. So once you've done that, you go head back to your Cedar. So once you head back to Cedar, you click on next step, all right? So they would send you a um, one-time password. So you have to check back on the Tetsketo app to get the one-time password, all right? Which is the authenticator code. So now how do you do it? You just set the back to your authenticator app, right? So this is your authenticator, okay? This is the, this is the authenticator you just added. So what I'm gonna do, just paste this number here, all right? 024875. Once you press it, you submit, okay? So, 
I'm glad this thing happened now because he wrote, he wrote invalid code because I took a little bit of time. So the previous code has expired. So you need to get, if you look at the authenticator app, you know that it's time-based, all right? So you need to get a code that is that the time has not elapsed. I think it's about a few seconds. So that's what I'm going to do now. So once you are done, it's going to bring out something like this. Okay. I'm going to bring out something like this to show you that you are done. Okay. And that's it. So you don't really have to do much. So before you do any transaction, before anything is done, the person would have, would have to go through your Google Identificator app. So that way you are secured. Thank you once again for listening and um, have a wonderful day. Always remember to like, subscribe and share for others to learn.